Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, taking a look at the demo for WarriorWare Get It Together. Uh, which is... Uh, if you're not familiar with the WarriorWare series, basically it's a collection of minigames played rapid fire. Uh, like, it gives you, you know, three seconds or whatever to play each game. It gives you, like, a, a vague, like, a, a two-word a two instruction, basically, on what you're supposed to do. Then you have to figure out what's happening and do it real fast before the timer runs out. Um, you expect to do like around 15 or so of these with four lives, uh, is the normal format. Uh, obviously like there's an endless mode where you just keep going until you run out of lives, but in the story it's generally 15. Um, and yeah, it's a really popular series. Um, <laughs> it started, uh, on the Game Boy Advance in 2003. Uh, they had Wario Inc. Mega Micro Games was the first one. Uh, then they made one, uh, a year later. For, also for the Game Boy Advance called WarioWare Twisted, uh, which had the gimmick that the cartridge had a little rotation sensor in it, so you would spin your Game Boy Advance around to play the game. Um, that was pretty cool. <laughs> uh, then they had one for the Nintendo DS, uh, I think a year after that? Uh, around the same time, actually. Uh, and that one just used the touch screen, of course. Uh, then in 2006, there was WarioWare Smooth Moves, which, you know, as you, which was for the Wii and... As you might guess from the name, it was about motion control. Uh, it would give you an instruction and it would also, uh, for the micro game, but it would also tell you a pose to hold the Wii mode in. There was stuff like Elephant, uh, where you would put it up to your nose like that, and there was the Waiter, where you hold it like this, and etc., etc. Uh, lots of different poses and stuff. Uh, that one was really well received. Um, it's not exactly accessible because, you know, it's based around motion control, uh, but it was very popular at the time. Um, and then after that, they kind of didn't make any more WarioWares for a while. Uh, we got one in 2008 called WarioWare Snapped. Uh, that was for the DSi, so it didn't really see a lot of success because not many people were that interested in the DSi. Uh, it was using the camera on the DSi, hence the name Snapped, but yeah, that one didn't really see a lot of, like, success, just because the DSi didn't see a lot of success. Uh, and then they kind of didn't make another one after that until now, in 2021. Uh, they put out WarioWare DIY in 2009, which I praised before. That's like a make-your-own-game sort of thing. Um, I talked about that in my Game Builder Garage video. I think WarioWare DIY is much better than Game Builder Garage. Uh, that was for the DS, and... It was really good, but it wasn't really a WarioWare game. It was its own thing. Uh, then, in, then they made a Wii U game called Game and Wario, which was essentially nothing like WarioWare, except that it happened to have Wario in it. Um, and then in 2018, they made WarioWare Gold, the 3DS, which it, it is a WarioWare game, but it's a compilation of the previous WarioWare games instead of being its own thing. So essentially, since... Uh, depending on if you count Snap, it's either been, like, since 2006 or 2008 that we last had an actual WarioWare game. Uh, and now we're getting one in 2021, <laughs> which is a bit wild. Um, I haven't played this game yet, but I have seen my girlfriend's girlfriend play it with her girlfriend, so I know what to expect, and I know they've mixed up the formula a little bit in this one. I'm going to talk about that when we get into it. Uh, but first, let's just jump in and check out what's in the demo. Uh, they were playing the full version, so I don't know how different the demo is. It might not have all the same stuff. I don't know how long it is, for example, but let's take a look. And Diamond City is the standard setting of the WarriorWare games. It game, Super Puro, takes flight. WarriorWare Incorporated. Ooh, it's all done. All our hard work. Yo, hurry up and show us. Yes. This scene is very weird. They fully voiced all the characters except Wario. Like, I, I know Charles, they had Charles Martinet because he's saying things, but he's not... His lines are only partially voiced, but everyone else's lines are fully voiced. I, I don't know why they did it like this. It's weird. Anyway, the game is going to make everyone chibi. 
It's terrifying. <laughs> These are the same uh, lovable cast of characters from previous WarioWare games. The best one is Ashley. Uh, she's the spooky witch girl with the dark hair. She's the best character. Hopefully she's... I mean, she is in this. I saw her in the cutscene. I don't know when you unlock her, though. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this game says you can play with one or two players. Um, in the full version, there's like a story mode and then a bunch of other modes and stuff. But this is just the demo, so it's a bit limited. The interesting thing is the multiplayer. Um, in previous WarioWare games, like, uh, they released a version of the original Game Boy Advance Mega Micro Games. They put that on the GameCube and gave it multiplayer. But the actual micro games themselves are designed for single player play. So it was kind of a, uh, each player takes a turn and like they try to do better than, their, than their, the other players kind of thing. This one actually has, um, it supports cooperative play basically. Uh, where you're both playing in the same micro game at the same time. Uh, and you'll see how that works uh, once I get into it. Um, I only have me here, so I can't actually go into two-player mode, but uh, you'll be able to see how it's possible based on the changes they've made to the formula. Uh... Your journey begins here, where you can play stages made especially for this demo. Try to get the high score. By the way, you can change the number of players by pressing plus or minus. I, I can't do a Wario voice. <laughs> huh? What's this? No wonder I feel like I'm flying. I am flying. I don't sound anything like Wario. Ah! <laughs> is it because I'm inside the game? Ah, who cares? This is going to come in handy. Wario. Wario, this video game maker loves treasure, money, and garlic. And money. What could possibly go wrong? I'm covering the text so I figured I'd read it out. <laughs> Wario attacks in whichever direction he's facing. So this is kind of the thing in WarioWare Get It Together. You have a character you're controlling. This is new. In every previous WarioWare game, it was, you know, each micro game is its own independent thing and they all work very differently. Uh, sometimes you'll be like, sometimes you'll have a character you're moving around with the arrows or whatever, but a lot of the time you don't. Um, here, you will always have one of the cast that you are controlling in every micro game. Uh, Wario, naturally, is the sort of default character. Uh, we get a bit of a tutorial on his movement here. Uh, he moves pretty smoothly. Uh, you can, you know, tilt the stick a little bit. You have full analog control and all that. Uh, he can only attack, I believe, sideways. Yeah. So this punch thing, this is based on what he does in Warrior Land games. He has a little shoulder barge attack like that. Boop. There we go. Beep. As you can see, like, I'm playing as Wario in this minigame. Whereas, traditionally, in a micro game, it would just be whatever the micro game wants. Hypnotize. You may notice the micro games are quite silly. Those four batteries at the bottom, those are my lives. Again, this is partially voiced. I'm very confused. <laughs> Mr. Wario, there you are. Young Cricket. This devoted student of the mar martial arts diligently trains us under... Blah, 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 blah. I'm just going to move my face so you can see all the text. Uh, I think over here is probably better. There we go. This devoted student of the martial arts diligently trains under Master Mantis. He likes meat dumplings a lot. <laughs> Jumping is Frickett's speciality. Hold down A to perform a high jump. So you see, like, Wario can fly. Whereas, uh, when you're playing as Cricket, you have more of a conventional platformer sort of mechanic. Where he jumps around instead. Uh, 
Indeed. Check it. Check it. I'm here too. There's 18 volts. So these are, these are all characters we know from previous games, to be clear. And get this. I can throw this disc on my head as many times as I want. And know what's even better? I didn't even I don't have to move. This overgrown school kid has mad rapping and retro gaming skills. He loves to play with his pint-sized pal, 9-volt. Get it? 9-volt? 18-volt? 18 throws his disc in whichever direction you tilt the left analog, the analog stick. So yeah, 18-volt not only doesn't have to move, he cannot move. He is stuck in place. I cannot make him move. Except by grabbing rings like this. Uh, so when 18 volt is selected, uh, you will start to see these little rings showing up so that you have the ability to move around. Uh, otherwise they don't show up. It's interesting. Time to join forces. It's the only way. Come on, let's tag team our foe. So now that we have these three characters, each micro game is going to pick a random one of these characters. I don't know if it's completely random or if it's like a cycle or something, but each micro game we will have a different move set. Uh, which is really interesting, um, because yeah, in previous WarioWare's, all the micro games sort of stood on their own merits. Uh, you play them the same regardless of context. It's like, for example, in Smooth Moves, it would say, you know, hold the hold the Wii mode in this special posture or whatever. But each micro game has a hard coded posture. Like this one, you always play holding it, <clears throat> holding it like this, or holding it like this, or holding it as a trunk or whatever. <laughs> Uh, whereas here, like, every micro game can be played in different ways depending on which character you happen to have active. Which is really interesting. Catch two. Oh, exactly two. Oh no. I misunderstood. Uh... Oh, like that? Okay. Oh, that wasn't enough? Oh, no. Uh, oh, thank God. <laughs> I'm having some trouble here. can help. It's Mona's Pizza! Work, high school, and pets keep this high school student busy. He's also a big fan of Wario. Why? Who can say? <laughs> uh, so yeah, Mona works for like a pizza delivery company, and this is really, really catchy song about her pizza place. Uh, I don't know if it's in this game, but it's great. And that's why she's on a little motorbike. Mona is always on the move, so you have to steer her in the right direction. Boom Boomerang can be aimed the same way. So yeah, I'm not pressing anything right now. She's just bouncing back and forth. Beep. Yay. 
<laughs> but yeah, you can see each character has very different abilities. Um, and it change and like the game determines essentially randomly whose abilities you're going to have for each minigame. Really interesting. The more than 200 microgames feature themes such as nature. That's life. And even Nintendo classics. Yeah, they always do at least one set that's like themed after other Nintendo games, and that's usually the most like interesting set. <laughs> Use different queue mem crew members to tackle the same microgame in distinct ways. Enjoy even more gameplay variety with two-person co-op. So yeah, you know how Wario was on like my character was on the left side of the screen. Left, left. This side <laughs> was on the left side of the screen. Um, when you're doing it in co-op, another character appears on the other side. You both get a random character, and you just work together on the same screen because you both have a character you can control. Uh, it's very straightforward, really. Uh, I'm just going to dive in again and see if it'll let me play with Mona. It will. There you go. Mona's activated. Uh, let's go Wario and Cricket. And yeah, I believe the way it works is it locks in the team member you currently, like, are intended to use. Um, basically, each each previous game, usually there's a set of um, minigames for each character. Like, the first set's Wario, then you get a set that's made by Mona, you get a set that's 9 Volt, and that's the one that's all the Nintendo games, that kind of thing. Uh, so, it looks like in this game... When you get to a new set, it will lock in the character for that set, so that you have to play with them, but you get to pick the other characters you want. Uh, and I assume once you've, like, cleared the stage once, it will unlock and let you use anyone. Uh, and when there's two players, you both get to pick from all of the characters as you want. It doesn't, like, require you to pick different characters or anything. Yay! You can see some micro games are much easier with certain characters than with others. Last chance. Uh... Yeah, Splatoon. <laughs> I think that's a reference to a game that I don't know. Because we're at a higher level now, there's more to do. Ah. Uh. Oh, yeah. Cat and Anna? Cat Anna? I, I think it's Anna, because their the name spells Katana. Hey, hey, let us help too! These kindergartners not only twins, they're ninjas too. 
Pat is a tiny bit older than Anna, obviously. <laughs> Pat and Anna jump non-stop. Pat always throws her shuriken to the right, and Anna always throws her shuriken to the left. Interesting. Yes. So yeah, there's a, there's a new game style there, because Cat and Anna are different characters. Feature Spotlight 2! Play a cast of quirky characters, Jimmy catches some air with his zippy attacks. Nine Volt rides his skateboard and fires off attacks with his yo-yo. Ashley flies around on her broom and casts spells. Oh, I love you, Ashley. He's the best. Meet this fun and quirky crew and see what they can do. Wait, is that... Pe Why is Penny like a dream ghost or something? <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, it looks like I'm... I can unlock one more, so I'm gonna do that. Um, you can probably get an idea of what the game's about based on what you've seen so far, but... Uh, let's say Mona and Cricket. Ninjarific. Catch two. Yeah. Let's style. Yeah. Prepare for speed. Get him. Uh, this one. On target. Ready. Spin it. Yeah. Ha. Yay. On it. Yellow. Got them all. Oh, rude. Ah. Uh, 
That'd be this one, right? <gasps> oh, I got pranked. <laughs> but you get the idea. Um, I'm gonna unlock one more character, I'm pretty sure. Obulon. Obulon will also assist, yes. This alien insists he'll invade Earth one day. He's lived here long enough to know a lot about our culture. Obulon sucks up the things below him by activating his beam. Okay. That reminds me of part-time UFO, so that's neat. <laughs> the demo crew is all here. You can now select all when choosing the number of crew members. Feature spotlight number three! Get ready for side-scrolling action in Daily Grind. Oh, that's cute. See who'll be the last player standing in Julius Maximus. Alright. Take a changing cast of characters into battle in Frenemy Frenzy. Win micro games so you can take over territory and sly angle. Oh, that's neat. I like that. The variety pack features 10 games. Aim for a high score, try out a four-player party game, and more. Okay, let's play again now that we have access to everyone. Use all. Strong. 
Ah, oh, the way over there. Watch out. Oh. Uh, I feel like it's this one. Ah. It's annoying because the tariff-free counter thing in Splatoon is designed to be a bit confusing. Give you a bit of a suspense about whether you've won or not. <laughs> Banan? Catch six. Oh god. Save <laughs> <Shoot>. <laughs> the me a cat. <laughs> Oh god. Obulon was real bad for that one. <laughs> oh gosh. So high, so squat. So nippy time. Feature spotlight number four. <laughs> you compete online for top scores and times in the Wario Cup. Complete missions to earn coins. Give one of your crew members a Prezi and see what happens. Revisit each microgame as often as you want in the Playopedia. This game really takes off after you get to the end, so get ready to dig deep and explore all the different modes. Okay, so we've now played with all the different characters. I how practice controls is that. Oh, I see. Okay, cool. I think that's more or less we've exhausted the demo at this point. <laughs> um, I could keep playing with just the same settings and stuff, but you get the idea. Um, it's a WarioWare game, but unlike the other WarioWare games, it's designed to be played cooperatively. You can play it with a friend, which is cool. Uh, it's designed so that each micro game is mixed up by who, which character you happen to be playing it with, which is a new idea, and I like that a lot. Uh, it looks like there's a pretty decent collection of microgames in here. Like, I only got a, a small sampling of the microgames that are actually available, but there are a lot of them, according to the marketing copy, and as far as I can tell. <laughs> I still think it's weird that the games are only, like, partially fully voiced. Like, that doesn't, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is WarioWare Get It Together. Um... I think I probably want to get this game. It looks pretty good. Um, it is quite a solid looking warrior game from what I can see here. Um, I, I, it's not exactly like a groundbreaking story or anything, but like WarioWare has never been about the story, so that's not a big deal. <laughs> um, the gameplay has the standard, you know, fast paced feel to it that this, um, that this franchise usually has, uh, it's mixed up a little more by having to familiarize, familiarize yourself with the new character's controls real quickly, which I think is really cool. Um, I like the, like, you could you just get all of them option. I assume that takes a bit longer to unlock in the, in the full game, because there are way more characters in the full game. Um, I really like how they've mixed it up so that everyone controls a little bit differently, and so even though you're doing the same basic thing, it feels very different depending on who's doing it, which is really cool. Um, I like that it's not based on motion control. Um, like, I was, I was expecting, you know, this is the Switch, it has motion controllers like the Wii does, but this game doesn't depend on them, uh, which is nice. You know, I'm holding a Pro Controller here, and I haven't needed to move it. <laughs> Uh, which I think is, it's, it's nice. Um, in WarioWare Gold, um, 
they had like a section for button based games, a section for touchscreen based games, and a section for tilt based games. Because uh, the 3DS can support all of those things. So they basically had stuff from Mega Micro Games, stuff from Touched, and stuff from Twisted. Uh, and you could, you know, avoid playing the stuff that you, you're not really capable of doing if there's a touchscreen thing you're not good at or a tilt thing you're not good at. Um, smooth moves, you know, required you to have a lot of dexterity and be able to move your Wii motor around in a lot of different ways. Uh, I think this game seems a lot more accessible. Um, it is, you know, a fast-paced action game. So if you have um, difficulties doing precise inputs quickly, that could be a problem. But it does at least not rely on motion controls, which is an improvement. <laughs> um, I can't see all the options and stuff in the demo, but I don't think this would have accessibility options like making it slower, making it give you more time, that kind of thing. I, I very much doubt that would be a thing it provides. So if that's something that's important to you, then I would recommend avoiding this game for that reason. Uh, just because the series hasn't been known for having that kind of stuff in it, um, it, it seems unlikely that they would have done it. Um, but yeah. Uh, in general, I think this is probably a pretty solid game, and probably a pretty solid installment in the franchise. Um, I think it's really neat that they've, like, it's, like revamped the, the series a little bit, um, by having, by, by making it kind of like, it's kind of a puzzle platformer almost, because every, every micro game, regardless of what you're trying to do, you have a character that you control in a puzzle platformy sort of way. And because the Wario Land games are also heavily puzzle-focused platformers, I think that's like some really good synergy between the two franchises. I think that it meshes well. Um, and, you know, it also means you can play with two players, which is really cool. Uh, because, yes, you could not do that uh, with the previous games. You could compete with players and take, you know, turns playing the micro games, but you could not cooperate. And I think that's a really cool improvement. <laughs> Um, I also think the chibi characters are just absolutely adorable, so... This game has made a good impression. Uh, it looks like it's playing the opening cutscene for me again, but I don't really need to see that. Can I just skip over it? Yeah. Uh, I don't think it has online play. You can see that it has local wireless. I don't think it'll have online, but I also don't think it's the kind of game that's good to play online. Um, I think this is more of a couch... a couch multiplayer experience. Uh, you sit, like, you know, with the people you're partying with and you play together that way. Um, granted, you know, in, in the days of lockdown and pandemics and stuff like that, that's not always possible, but uh, I think, I think, I think you'd lose a lot of the experience of this kind of game by playing it online anyway, so if it doesn't have online play, I don't think that's a big loss. Um, but yeah, this, like... From what I can see in this demo, this game looks very solid. Um, I'm definitely more impressed with it than some of the other demos I've played. Uh, it's better than Game Builder Garage. <laughs> but it's completely different from Game Builder Garage, but I really like what they've done with the series, and they've come up with this new idea that sort of... Uh, as well as having really interesting and different micro games, they've got a full set of... a new set of micro games. Uh, they've also... I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> there we go. Uh, they've also uh, made them a lot more replayable by changing up the controls you have access to essentially randomly between such a, a broad range of different play styles, which I think is pretty neat. Um, I am curious how some of the characters we didn't get to see play. It looked like Penny, like Penny Krieger. Uh, she's got like orange hair. Uh, she was it looked like she was like sleeping and astral projecting her dream self or something, which is fascinating, but uh, I can't really tell them demo because she's not in it. Um, but yeah, I think this game looks real good, and I think if you enjoyed uh, games like uh, Mega Micro Games, Twisted, Touched, Smooth Moves, um, or if you didn't enjoy some of those because of required motion controls, uh, this may be the game for you. <laughs> Um, I also think expanding on the multiplayer capabilities of a thing like WarioWare, like, uh, I, I sent, like, 
they re they um re-released the original Mega Micro games with multiplayer as Mega Party games, and I think making it you know a party game, a game you can play with your friends and and do silly things together, it just makes a lot of sense. It just fits. Um, and the fact that the multiplayer experience wasn't fantastic uh, until more or less this game uh, is just kind of, it kind of shows that this was a sort of necessary change, I think, which is interesting. Um, so yeah, I was uh, very surprised at first to see, okay, it's now with the platformer instead of a micro game collection, but no, it works really well. Um, it, it gives you this extra layer of, of complexity and, and uh, fast paced thinking and challenge and stuff, which, which is what, what Warrior War is, you know, about. You get this little prompt telling you what to do and you have a few seconds to get figure it out. And it's really hectic and really exciting and fun. And I don't know whether the side stuff is going to be like, I know there's coins in this game that you earn by playing. Um, I don't know if it's going to be too obnoxiously pretending to be a free-to-play mobile game. Like, for example, Smash Ultimate uh, has a bunch of stuff that feels like you're supposed to be paying microtransactions, like um, classic tickets, for example, uh, and the spirit board and stuff like that. It all feels like it belongs in a free-to-play mobile game that's using, like, FOMO techniques and loot boxes and stuff like that. And even though none of that is actually in the game, it feels like it should be, and that, like, it cheapens the experience and it makes the game less uh, less friendly, I suppose. Um, and I think that's a big problem with Smash Ultimate and some other games I could mention. Yoshi's Crafted World has a gacha mechanic for no reason, for example. Uh, and the Box Boy game for the Switch does that too, also for no reason. And, ugh, I don't know. It's possible this game does that too, I can't tell from the demo. Um, but the core gameplay loop is really good. Um, oh, I wanted to mention, um, I think the idea for having, you know, you have little platformer characters who go into the micro games and do things, that may have come from the Super Smash Bros. games. Because in Smash Bros. Brawl, I think, uh, they added a WarioWare-based stage and, you know, you're, you're fighting characters who are busy beating each other up, actually participated in the minigames by jumping around and whacking things. Which didn't happen in Core Warrior where, but now does. And I think that probably came from Smash Bros, which I think is kind of neat. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's Warrior where Get It Together. A game which surprised me at first. I was thinking, what, this isn't a Warrior where game? Is this, is this a Warrior Land game? Are they making new Warrior Land platformers? Because that would be kind of neat. But no, no, it's a WarioWare game, it just, it's a puzzle platformer now. <laughs> With really, really fast-paced character switches and stuff. And I think it's very cool. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna get this. Uh, it looks like a lot of fun, and I really enjoyed Mega Micro Games and Touched and Twisted and Smooth Moves, and I didn't play Snap, I don't think anyone did. And yeah, I really liked the earlier ones, like, it's, how long ago is that? God. Jeez, Al almost, almost 20 years ago when they started the series? Jeez, okay. <laughs> oh, time flies. Okay, but yeah. Uh, this game looks great, and I'm probably going to get it. And if it looks like something you'd enjoy, you'd probably get it too. Uh, I should mention... Uh, I'll just dive back in real quick to s show you what I'm talking about. Uh, these all. Uh, this screen here... <clears throat> between the micro games, that usually uh, changes based on like which character you're playing as. Like this would be for the intro, this is the warrior ones. When you get onto like, say Mona's set of micro games, it would look completely different. Um, I assume it's only using the one like scenery set because it's the demo, but in, in the full game, you would get a bunch of different in between micro game sceneries to work with. Um, not that that really matters, but it does mean there's a bit more visual distinction, so... Which can be nice. Also, yeah, we are doing micro games inside Wario's giant nose. Um, there tends to be a bit of gross stuff in all of these types of games, so... Um, like, it's there, for, it's there for comedic purposes because Wario's a gross guy, but... 
if that if that bothers you, you may wish to take care. Oh my god, just in time. <laughs> Okay, um, anyway, that's about all I wanted to say, uh, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, I hope if this game looks like your, your cup of tea, that you pick it up and have some fun with it. Um, I think it looks really great based on the demo, which is more than, I mean, actually I did really like the Yoshi's Crafted World demo, and then the game was awful. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but this this game does look really fun, and if the formula basically continues the way it's doing in this demo, which it, it should, like, there's no reason to change it completely after the demo is set, then, yeah, it's good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I guess that's about all I've got to say, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!